Welcome to Destination Bethlehem 2023. We're here in Bethlehem Square. I'll, I'll walk you around uh, our, our Bethlehem uh, Square scenery. Uh, we have uh, Herod's Palace here in the corner. There is Herod. Uh, there are shepherds gathered here. We're, we'll find out more about the shepherds and their hole in their bucket. Uh, we have our host who uh, uh, welcomes the crowds into Bethlehem Square, the, the prophet who is writing about where we will find the newborn king. And wise men drawn, gathered into Bethlehem. And then as we kind of bring the camera around, we come to the stable and later on we will go in there and uh, uh, see inside our stable scene this year. So welcome as we gather to worship God, to pray, and we're going to give you an insight into what's been going on this year at Destination Bethlehem. Welcome to Destination Bethlehem 2023. Does your camel need a yearly check and maintenance? Book your camel MOT today. Free camel shampoo and shine for our first 100 customers. Have you got a hole in your bucket? Visit Bethlehem Bucket Repairs. At Seth's Shepherd's Store, we sell all clothing for shepherds. Shh! 
sheep are allowed in the store. Buy the new book Festive Fred the Greatest Gift before it sells out at the Bethlehem Bookshop. Visit the Bethlehem Bakery Experience at our Bethlehem Cookery Store today. We sell all sorts of sandals at Bethlehem Sandal Shop for men, women and children that are suitable for mountains and sand. Visit Bethlehem Baby Gifts. If you can't afford gold, frankincense or myrrh, you may prefer to go to Bethlehem Baby Gifts store today. Visit the number one attraction today, Bethlehem Game Zone. time, Augustus Caesar sent an order to all people in the countries that were under Roman rule. The order said that they must list their names in a register. This was the first registration taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own towns to be registered. So Joseph left Nazareth a town in Galilee. He went to the town of Bethlehem in Judea. This town was known as the town of David. Joseph went there because he was from the family of David. Joseph registered with Mary because she was engaged to marry him. Mary was now pregnant. While Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have the baby. She gave birth to her first son. There were no rooms left in the inn, so she wrapped the baby with cloths and laid him in a manger where animals are fed. Welcome everybody! Welcome to Destination Bethlehem! I expect you're here today to come and be registered in the census that we heard about. And you will later be going to our registry office over there, but I'm afraid it's very crowded and there are very, very long queues while we wait to register. So I'm here as your tour guide in Bethlehem to keep you amused while you're having to wait. And I've got lots of exciting things for you to do today. So, for example, a bit later, you are going to the Bethlehem Bakery, where today they might be making a nice festive gingerbread treat. Here's your group ticket. You're also going to be going to the Bethlehem Game Zone. Yay! You're going to play some really good games in our game zone. I've also got a really special film premiere at our outdoor Bethlehem cinema. You are going to see a fantastic film called Festive Fred Finds the Greatest Gift. And we're going to hear a bit of a Christmas story. And then, by special live link from around the world, we have the world-famous Cheeky Pandas. They're an amazing group who are going to sing their Christmas number one for us. Whoa! But first, I've heard a little rumour. I've heard that in the skies above the Bethlehem Shepherd's Fields, there's been a strange light show with some angels singing. Shall we see? That night, some shepherds were in the fields nearby watching their sheep. An angel of the Lord stood before them. 
the glory of the Lord was shining around them, and suddenly they became very frightened. The angel said to them, Don't be afraid, because I am bringing you some good news. It will be a joy to all the people. Today your Saviour was born in David's town. He is Christ, the Lord. This is how you will know him. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a feeding box, a manger. Then a very large group of angels from heaven joined the first angel. All the angels were praising God, saying, Give glory to God in heaven, and on earth let there be peace to the people who please God. Boys, let's see if we can find this king. Oh, we're in Bethlehem. Gosh, look at all the people. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, hello shepherds. Hello. How lovely to see you. Say hello to all the children. Hello. Wow. Hello. I've heard a rumour. Is it true that you shepherds like to sing? Oh yes, yes we do. We love to have a good old sing song when we're out in the fields looking after the sheep. Good, and have you got many, many songs you like to sing? We have got hundreds of songs. Abs Trouble is only one tune. One tune? Just, just the one tune. And, and that all came about when Stevie had a hole in his bucket. <laughs> So we made up this song, didn't we? Oh, Stevie did. Shall we, shall we sing it to them? Yes. OK. There's a hole in my bucket, said Stevie, said Stevie. There's the hole in my bucket, said Stevie, a hole. So now, now we've got the one tune, we can sing lots of songs. And we know this really good Christmassy song. And we thought it would be really good to get everyone here to sing along with us. What do you think? Yeah. yeah! Shall we sing it? Yeah! This year at Destination Bethlehem, everyone who comes will receive this book, Festive Fred Finds the Greatest Gift, written by Di Woolridge. And here is our friend Di to introduce Festive Fred. Well, hello everyone. My name is Di Woolridge. I am author of the book, Festive Fred Finds the Greatest Gift. And I'm very excited to introduce you to Fred because Fred is so festive, he changed his name from Ryan 
to Fred to be that little bit more festive. Now, the one thing Fred wanted more than anything else in all the world was the super maxed charged 3000. He wanted it so badly. But then one time he snoozed off and when he woke up, he found that he was in the middle of the very first Christmas story. Fred bumped into a shepherd boy and Fred could not believe it because he was 3000 miles away and 2000 years away from home. So come join us on this journey to find out what happens next with Festive Fred and what this greatest gift really is. Fred couldn't believe it. He was 3,000 miles away and 2,000 years away from home. He was actually inside the very first Christmas story. Before Fred could think back to his school nativity play and remember what happened next, there appeared an angel in the sky. The angel was more terrific and tremendous than Fred had ever imagined, shining so bright and definitely no tinsel in sight. Don't be afraid, said the angel. It's good news about the greatest gift for everybody. See, the angel, he wasn't talking about the supercharged Max 3000. He was talking about a newborn baby, God's own son, and the greatest gift ever. Someone who's come to rescue us from the messy things that hurt us and to forgive us for the mean things we do to others. But why are you telling me? I'm nobody special. I'm just a shepherd boy, said the shepherd boy. No, you're not a nobody, said the angel. You have got a personal invite to meet the most special somebody. You'll find him tucked in tight resting his head on a pillow of straw. Then, suddenly, the angel was joined by what seemed like a bajillion angels, all singing in perfect harmony. Fred thought Sarah Jones' solo of All Holy Night was good, but this was the greatest sound he had ever heard. But it wasn't near as good as what was waiting for them in that manger. Fred and the shepherd boy sped through the mud, jumped over rocks and skipped over streams until they finally arrived at the downstairs part of an old stone house. Nervously, Fred and the shepherd boy opened the creaky door and before their very eyes were Mary, Joseph and precious baby Jesus tucked in tight, resting his head on a pillow of straw. Well, hello, you two, said Mary with a smile, beaming from year to year. I think somebody wants to say hello, added Joseph, nodding to the boys to get a closer look at Jesus. And as they approached, they saw baby Jesus. Wow, whispered the boys as they both knelt before Jesus in pure wonder. Oh, I didn't know, but. You really are the most special somebody, aren't you? Said Fred. He's the greatest gift ever, added the shepherd boy. Would you like to hold him? Asked Mary. Me? Uh, no way, I I'm way too messy to hold the greatest gift in history, said Fred. But he's not afraid of our messy things. He came to rescue us from our messy things said Mary, as she smiled and cleaned the mud off Fred's face. Then Fred and the shepherd boy remembered what the angel said too. Jesus came to rescue us from the messy things that hurt us and forgive us for the mean things we do to others. But, but how, said the shepherd, he's just a baby. Not just any baby, said Mary, he's God's own son. And one day, he'll grow up and show us how. But I, I don't feel like I deserve it, said Fred. Well, said Joseph with a smile, it wouldn't be a gift if you did, would it? Wow, that's way better than the supercharged Max 3000, said Fred. 
Well, I can't keep this to myself any longer, the shepherd boy said, as he leapt to his feet, hopped past the manger and sped out through the creaky old door, telling everyone about the greatest gift ever. So, it was destination Bethlehem for the wise men too. Hello, wise men. Now, as promised, we've got our live link to the Cheeky Pandas Music Studio, where we're going to hear their first playing of their new Christmas song. So if you want to stand up, grab your bells and get ready to dance, we'll sing with the Cheeky Pandas. Underneath the tree A jingle, jingle, jingle melody More than a man in a red suit Coming down the chimney With lots of toys It's a cheeky pandas Cheeky Christmas time For the baby born Is the saviour Jesus Christ Oh, it's a cheeky pandas Cheeky Christmas time Beneath the mistletoe On that old frosty the snowman God came down to earth As a baby boy It's a cheeky pandas Cheeky Christmas time For the baby born Is the saviour Jesus Christ Oh, it's a cheeky pandas Cheeky Christmas time Ready to be filled Naughty elves and scrumptious turkey meals Oh, Chris Kringle, all sleigh bells are ringing Angels are singing Glory to God It's a cheeky pandas Cheeky Christmas time For the baby born Is the Savior Jesus Christ Everybody. Thank you very much. 
Goodbye. Great dancing, everybody. Really good boogieing to the cheeky pandas. And now you are going to go with your group ticket to the game zone and play some festive games and to the Bethlehem Bakery where today they're making a festive treat of gingerbread for you to take home. That'll be great. And now we are going to hear the news from the wise men about the baby that has been born in the Bethlehem stable. It must be the baby that the shepherds were telling us about. And as festive Fred said, although it's just a tiny baby, Jesus is the greatest gift ever. They saw the same star they had seen in the east. It went before them until it stopped above the place where the child was. When the wise men saw the star, they were filled with joy. They went to the house where the child was and saw him with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped the child. They opened the gifts they had brought him. They gave him treasures of gold, frankincense and myrrh. I tell you what, let's follow the wise men and the shepherds to the stable where we're going to see Jesus, the greatest gift ever.
I'm here in the Bethlehem Bakery with some of the Bethlehem Bakery team. Uh, normally we have about 30 children in here during the school visits, but uh, it's just a team here at the moment. But I thought it'd be really good for you to see what goes on in here. So I'm going to hand over to our Bethlehem Baker. Hello everyone. So welcome to the Bethlehem Bakery. So this is where the children come to make a Jesus gingerbread man and learn a bit about exactly who Jesus was. So we have our demonstrator here, Cindy, and Cindy is going to start off with our gingerbread man and we're going to give him a crown because Jesus is the king of all kings. So the children all have a little crown, like that, and they have a little crown and they stick it on the head of their gingerbread man, hopefully on the head with a little bit of icing. And there we are, so we have our King of Kings. Then the next thing we're gonna give our Jesus gingerbread man is a heart, because God loved the world so much that that's why Jesus came to help us. So again, the children get a heart and stick it onto their Jesus gingerbread man with a little bit of icing, somewhere in the middle. After the heart, we then give him a stick but it's not just any stick, it's a shepherd's stick. And that's because Jesus is the good shepherd who guides us and looks after us. And so we have our stick, and that, again, goes on with a bit of icing to hold it in place, to remind us that Jesus is our good shepherd. Excellent. Then the next bit we put on is a cross, and that's to remind us all that Jesus came so he could die on the cross at Easter so that everything bad we've done can be washed away and forgiven. So with a little bit of icing, we stick a cross onto our Jesus gingerbread man. Then of course we have to give him some eyes. So a pair of eyes go on. That's to remind us that Jesus watches over us and looks after us. So they stick on with little bits of icing a lovely little pair of very brown eyes. Perfect. So the last thing we give our Jesus gingerbread man is a ribbon. And this is a gift ribbon, which we tie around our gingerbread man. And this is to show that Jesus is a gift from God. The very first gift of that first Christmas, a gift to the whole world. So, once we've got our Jesus gingerbread man beautifully ribboned up, then goes into a bag for the children to take, and they have a little card in the bag which reminds them of exactly what all the things on their Jesus gingerbread man mean. And so that's what the children do here in the Bethlehem Bakery with all our lovely bakers. We're here in the Bethlehem Game Zone and I'm with some of the team that look after this area. There's three challenges in this area if you come to Destination Bethlehem. And so we're going around here to the first challenge, which is to do with angels. Perhaps, Anne, you could explain, even demonstrate what goes on here. Right. Hello. Well, I'm one of the angels who visited the shepherds on that very first Christmas. With the other angels, we praised God, saying, Give glory to God in heaven. And on earth, let there be peace to the people who please God. Now, I'm going to show you the game. This challenge is to put these hoops on the hooks on the angel and score the highest score you can with three hoops. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> and then we come to the shepherd zone. And uh, we've got Robin in here and Julie in here who've been uh, shepherds today. So tell us about this area. Well, in this area, uh, the kids, uh, the activity for them is counting the sheep uh, that we've got on the, on the wall and down on the floor. But before that, I get the chance to tell them about shepherding and shepherding on that special night when the angel appeared with great news for all people in the world. And I tell them how we went down to Bethlehem and, and found the baby Jesus in the, in the manger. And uh, then we count the sheep. Then I say, we went back to work and please help me to count them up. And we've got a couple of little oddballs here that, that are harder to find. So it makes it fun. The third zone is uh, wise men. And 
I think the challenge is here about moving gold. Tell us, Josh, about this. Yeah, so here in the, the, the wise man's gold shop, uh, the challenge is, is to pick up the, the tray full of gold and these, these yellow balls and the, the children have to walk around my chair and bring it back without dropping any of the balls. And we make it varyingly difficult depending on the age of the child. So there's things to step over or only doing it with one hand. Martin, do you want to give it a, give it a go? This is very impressive. There you go, it's as simple as that. It's the second Sunday in Advent, so we light our second Advent candle, the Bethlehem candle, that speaks of God's great love for us. In John 3, we read, For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. We pray, Lord Jesus, as we light this second purple candle, the Bethlehem candle, we thank you for your amazing love for us. Help us to show love to our family and friends this Advent time and to be kind to one another. We worship you today because you sent your only son, Jesus, into the world to save us so that we may have eternal life. Amen. Sing the rock. We need to just sing those ones if we're going to do it. Should we go for the ones on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know what. Yeah. No, yeah, fine. Everyone, sorry. Let's go. Everyone. I just want to make sure it's the same as the words. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. Just sound before we knew, mate. Oh 
As we come to the end of this year's destination, Bethlehem, God of Mary and Joseph, God of the shepherds and the wise men, God of the baby lying in a manger, God with us, touch our hearts with the living presence of Christ, fill us with the love and joy which he alone can bring and send us out to proclaim his kingdom. Good news for all. In his name we pray. Amen. <laughs>